Hi, I'm Brian. I'm 28 this year and I'm a quantitative trader at Team International Trading. So quantitative traders basically conduct financial and statistical analysis in order to evaluate certain financial products or markets. So this allows us to actually develop any quantitative methods or algorithms to identify potential trading opportunities in the market. So one example would be that we could actually create some uh, statistical model to actually calculate how much an asset is actually worth or how we value it uh, during a certain period of time, during which we can actually attempt to buy below where we see value as well as sell above value in order to create profits. I think one of the popular video games that can kind of replicate the experience of trading in real life is Animal Crossing. So in the game, there's a segment where you're actually able to trade turnips and the prices of the turnips can vary very, very differently. And this is something that we as traders experience on a day-to-day -day basis where market is actually extremely volatile and uncertain. So in real life, definitely the emotions are much more amplified because at the end of the day, we are dealing with real money and the stakes can be much, much higher. So this is something that uh, we as traders have to deal with emotionally. So you need to make sure that you are emotionally resilient to these uh, kind of stuff. So as a trader, my day-to-day -day task mainly consists of trading. So this takes up to around 80% of my activities. So basically, uh, um, a lot of my time is just spent sitting on my desk and monitoring the market, um, determining when or not I'm able to execute my trading strategies. After the analyst gives us a debrief about what's happening in the physical market, traders that have stayed for the previous night trading session will actually give us a recap on what actually happened the previous night and it allows the entire desk to actually form a view or be able to anticipate what is going to happen going forward into the new trading session. So at the end of each day, every um, trader is actually required to perform this task which we call closing a book, which actually means uh, consolidating your profit and loss for the day itself. So it's important for us to calculate you know, how much we actually bought, how much we actually sold, kind of figure out how much we have made for the day itself. I actually joined the company in 2019 as a junior trader. And as a junior trader, we have training program, which is about six to eight months long. A junior trader is actually given a certain product to look at and the way we go about doing is you know perform research as well as back testing and once you have certain strategies in hand you are able to test them out in the simulation market and you are proven to be profitable you will be given the green light to actually trade in the live market so a common misconception or stereotype people may have of a trader will be that they are very impulsive gamblers who are willing to risk everything in order to win money in the market However, this is not true. A good trader does not make trading decisions based on his emotion, but rather they will actually take calculated risks based on the information and knowledge that they have and not make any irrational or illogical decisions. A lot of times when my many friends know that I'm a trader, they will often be asking me, Hey, what stock should I buy? Huh? And my answer to them is, oh, To be honest, I also don't know bro. Yeah, it's just too volatile and I think it's very hard. So I did my degree in accountancy in one of the local universities. However, during my second year, after I did a professional attachment with one of the accounting firms, I realised that the job was not something that was suitable for me in the long run. And then I moved on to an active mutual fund house where I found things to be a lot more exciting and more interesting. So after gaining exposure from there, I actually did a bit more research and then here I am at Team International Trading and I've been here for three years now. One of the main Minimum requirements that um, firms look at would be a degree from a reputable uh, university. So this can be anything from, let's say, banking and finance to accountancy to math or even economics. So it does not necessarily have to be from finance in order to actually join the trading industry. So I think one uh, important technical skill a trader needs to have would be being good in math and numbers in general. Plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick maths. So on our day-to-day -day activities, we actually are required to do a lot of financial analysis and statistical analysis of numerous data sets. So having a good um, competency of numbers would really help you in the long run. I think programming is definitely an important skill that traders should have. So for example, we have a lot of repetitive tasks that we actually have to do on a daily basis. And you know, having the knowledge of let's say C++, Python or VBA will actually help us to automate these such that it makes it a lot more fast free for us. In addition, you know, where we are having to come up with strategies as well as to write algorithms to execute these strategies, the programming language can actually come into play. I think one advice I would have for you is that whether or not you're still in your um, university or you're looking for a job, do not be confined by your degree. Be willing and be more open-minded to look out and explore for more options and be willing to test your own boundaries.